In this tutorial, you will learn about content in D2L. The content area of the course is where students access instructional materials, such as your course syllabus, assignment directions, articles, and other course resources. Navigate to the content area by clicking on the content link in the course navigation bar. In the content area, you will create modules, submodules, topics, and activities. Modules and submodules are used to organize your content area and are often titled by the topic, unit, or chapter. In our course here, we have one module labeled Syllabus, another module labeled Introduction to Biology, and a third module labeled Species. If we click on the Introduction to Biology module, we see two sub-modules labeled Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Topics and activities are organized under modules and sub-modules. If we click on Chapter 1, we can see the topics and activities organized beneath this sub-module. You may be wondering, what's the difference between topics and activities? Topics are documents you upload to the course, such as a Word document, PDFs, PowerPoint presentations, and D2L-based web pages. Activities, on the other hand, are areas or assignments located within the course, such as discussions, quizzes, and Dropbox folders, in which you want students to navigate to and complete. For example, here we see the topic, Overview and Assignments, Chapter 1, organized under the Chapter 1 submodule. If we click on that topic, we'll see this is a D2L based web page. We can move to the next topic or activity in several ways. Click the Next button here, or scroll down the web page and select the topic or activity you want to navigate to. We can also return to the Chapter 1 submodule introduction to biology module or to the full table of contents by clicking on the links here. Let's return to chapter 1. The other items we see in this submodule are activities. The chapter 1 discussion, the reflection essay Dropbox folder, the chapter 1 quiz, we have a link to a YouTube video here, and then we have another topic, which is a Word document at the end. If we click on an activity, such as the Chapter 1 discussion, we'll see the discussion question right here. We can choose to view and respond to the discussion by clicking on the View Discussion button. And here's our Chapter 1 discussion. Okay, let's practice creating a new module and topic and content. I'll return to the content area by clicking on the Return to Content button. We're back to the discussion activity, but we want to get back to Table of Contents, so let's click on the Table of Contents link at the top of the page. To create another module, simply type the name of the new module into the Add a Module field in the Table of Contents menu on the left. We'll name this module Photosynthesis. Click the Enter key on your keyboard or move your mouse outside of this field to create the module. Here's our new module, Photosynthesis. Now if we want to create submodules, we can simply type the name of the submodule into the Add a Submodule field here. Let's create two submodules. We'll name one Chapter 5, Enter, there it is. Let's add another one, we'll name this one Chapter 6, and there it is. We now have a module labeled Photosynthesis, and two sub-modules labeled Chapter 5 and Chapter 6. Now, you don't have to add sub-modules to your modules, but I find it helps with the overall organization of the course, which means students will more easily be able to locate assignments and course resources. 
Now we can begin to add topics and activities to our submodules. If we want to upload a file, such as a Word document, to Chapter 5, there are two methods we can use. You can click on the New button beneath the Chapter 5 submodule and select Upload Files. Then click the Upload button and browse for your file on your computer. Let's select this file. Here's our added document. Click the Done button to upload the file to D2L. And there's the file we added under the Chapter 5 submodule. The other method you can use is a simple drag and drop right from your computer. Just locate the document on your computer. Let's choose the sample essay. Click on the document and drag it straight into the drag and drop field beneath the Chapter 5 submodule. Wasn't that quick and easy? There's our uploaded file. Let's move down to Chapter 6. If we want to add an activity now, we can click on the Add Activities button beneath the Chapter 6 submodule. Let's add a Dropbox folder. Using the drop-down menu, select the Dropbox folder you want to add to content. We'll choose the Persuasive Outline. Now, in order to add a Dropbox, your Dropbox folder should have already been created in the course. However, if you didn't create a Dropbox folder ahead of time, you can click on the Create a Dropbox link to do so now. We don't need to do that since we did have a folder created, so we'll just click on the Insert button. And here's our Dropbox folder persuasive outline beneath the Chapter 6 submodule. Now, say I accidentally added this activity to Chapter 6, but it was really supposed to go in Chapter 5. Not to worry, just click on the icon next to the activity name, and then we'll drag it up to the drag and drop field beneath the Chapter 5 submodule. And there's our Persuasive Outline Dropbox now underneath Chapter 5. If I need to reorder this Dropbox, say I want it after the Final Project Sample document, click on the icon again and reorder it. And there it is. This concludes the D2L tutorial on content. In this tutorial, we learned how to create modules and submodules, as well as how to add topics and activities to the course.